Well, hello friends, Velo Knot lovers. Welcome to today's edition of Adventures with Blaze. Today, we took a ride through South Mobile County and ended up at the Azalea City Model Aeronautics Club. That's an RC club that I was a member of for many years before I gave up flying my helicopters and switched over to model trains. It was nice to see uh, some of the same fellows out there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take as much video as I thought because I got too busy running my mouth. But hope you enjoy it anyway. Thank you for coming along. And, you know, if you like this video, you know, again, I appreciate if you like and subscribe. I'm trying to get my channel to grow. I'd love to hit the 200 subscriber mark. Until the next time, bye for now. When I got there, there was only a couple of fellas setting up. We had in this table an Ultimate Bipe, a really nice F4U Corsair. That thing had a tremendous speed envelope. And a little electric ducted fan, F86 Sabre. That actually flew quite well. And then down on the other end of the pavilion had a uh, just a couple of sport flyers. Now here's the Corsair taking off. I wasn't quite sure how well this would show up on the camera, so I didn't shoot too long. That Corsair flew really well. And the poor little F-86 had a close encounter with the uh, flagpole, and it lost. Flagpole suffered no injury. And uh, here I am, leaving the field. And of course, a bunch of high-tech rednecks down here. Quattro Vela was quite the hit. Everybody wanted to look at it, and the one fellow that was uh, standing in front as I moved out, he was trying to figure out how to put wings on it. Consensus was I would need wings and a turbine hung under each wing, and I could fly. Personally, I think I'll just do my flying on the, on the road. This field was actually at one time a landfill that has been reclaimed and uh, the club has been out here for, oh golly, at least 12, 15 years. today was a total of 29 and a quarter miles and had an average speed through the uh, run of 16.2 uh, I believe it was a good run As I've told you before, Mobile County loves traffic circles. And everybody was real polite going through this thing. Everybody did just what they were supposed to do.
Pay no attention to the overlays there. Um, this is another one where I'd shut the camera off, turned it back on, trying to save battery power, and it uh, hasn't locked onto a GPS system yet. It was a really beautiful day to ride. A little breezy, but the temperatures were very pleasant. This is a nice stretch northbound on the um, southern end of March Road. These rumble strips coming up on uh, these 90 degree turns. They are rough. That's why I'm kind of hugging the even tighter to the side than normal. So I've only hit them with two wheels. to the right we've got a cotton field and that was probably the worst pass I had the entire day. A few more weeks and it'll be starting to harvest the cotton. Over uh, overpass right here, we're getting ready to go under. That's I-10. It goes all the way to California to the west and to Jacksonville to the east.
here we're coming up to the intersection of March Road and Old Pascagoula Highway. I guess at one time years ago that was one of the main roads between Mobile and Pascagoula. And there you see over on the right some more Alabama snow. The first time I came down this road on my trike when I got down here by about this barn, all of a sudden there must have been five or six hundred crows or ravens or whatever just erupt out of that field. It turned the sky black. It was quite amazing. house here over on the right they have a couple of mules there that every once in a while are down by the gate but today they, they weren't around And yet another roundabout.
this will be the last roundabout for this trip. I was really surprised at how well they improved the traffic flow down that road over the traditional four ways. We are doing the last mile to the house. And once again, I'd like to thank you all for uh, taking the time to stop and watch my video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you the next time we post another adventure with Blaze. Bye for now.